Okay, let's pray and then we'll start. Okay, Father, we, we just want to thank you, Lord, for this uh, for this day. We thank you for this time. Lord, we believe that you are empowering us, equipping us, Lord, every time we, we look to you, every time uh, we look into your scriptures, Lord. Uh, we thank you for doing so, God. We thank you that you are empowering us to be uh, better, uh, Lord, ministers. We, we are empowering us to be, Lord, uh, better individuals, Lord, uh, that we might be in whatever role or responsibility, in whatever task that we are carrying out, Lord, that we might be better at it, um, you know, be equipped to handle it well and carry out and steward things well. Uh, Father, we thank you uh, for the wisdom that is in your word. We thank you. Uh, may we continue to increase in wisdom and knowledge and understanding, uh, even as we grow in our understanding of you, even as we grow in faith. And we pray that you'll continue to lead us. We thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Just a minute, please. Right. Okay. So um, let's continue with uh, with life skills. Uh, we've been looking at people management, right? Uh, we saw how uh, people are a resource. Um, and uh, we also looked at how uh, we need to be able to have certain skills to relate to people and also uh, to be able to manage people, right? We looked at uh, uh, people management uh, in the last uh, couple of classes. Uh, we looked at how we can... Um, you know, right from identifying, uh, selecting, um, or even, uh, you know, how to get people organized, right? We talked about vision, we talked about delegation, we talked about motivation, inspiring, etc. We also looked at how, you know, uh, correction, how we need to bring in correction and also appraisal, right? Uh, review the work that is being done, which will help us to, you know, uh, help us to determine how should this person be rewarded for the work that they are doing. Unless there is a review, we cannot sufficiently uh, reward the person. Right? Or we won't know uh, what corrections to bring about in people unless there is a uh, unbiased uh, formal system of reviewing. Uh, and it can be a simple method. Uh, it can be as simple as, you know, every month, monthly once, a month, once in two months, just sitting and discussing, you know, and, and as a leader, maybe you can ask the questions, you know, how's work, what is happening, what is challenging, what is not happening, and why, and all, you know, those kind of questions. Uh, why are we not able to do what we said we would do, and, and so on. So that would uh, really help, uh, you know, uh, help assess um, where that person is and, uh, you know, how that person is doing. So, so, so a good review system uh, needs to be unbiased and it will always help us to assess the work, assess, uh, you know, what needs to be done, uh, done more, you know, what needs to be done better, uh, etc. Right. Okay, so, so today uh, we are in chapter 9, and uh, again, it is uh, something in relation to, um, uh, in connection with people management, um, but here it's something very, very specific, and it talks about uh, conflict and uh, a resolution of conflicts. Okay, so if you're following in your notes, it's uh, page 35, uh, chapter 9, and uh, it's conflict resolution. Okay. So, um, you know, the thing is that when we, no matter how small or big a team is, you know, there is always potential for conflict. Okay. There is always potential for conflict. So uh, I think before we uh, talk about it, maybe we should just understand, you know, what is uh, conflict? Okay. Uh, when we look at the dictionary, uh, conflict is defined as a, a violent uh, struggle or a contest or something that is physical, something that is mental. Okay, uh, I'll just put it here. So, you know, it could be, um, it's defined as that, right? So now that's, uh, when we say conflict, you know, that's, a, that's an extreme, uh, you know, scenario, right? But we know that a conflict 
can uh, start as a as a simple disagreement okay we, we we don't agree on the same thing or it can even start as a misunderstanding you know you understand it um, not the right way one of the two you know? so it can just take two people to have a misunderstanding it can take two people uh, to have a disagreement okay uh, and which can lead to a conflict you know which can become something a little more intense right uh, it, it, where it becomes a conflict okay so um, so we need to understand that okay first of all you know many of us might think that okay uh, you know maybe i know you're thinking i'm a it's a great organization or it's a christian organization or it's a it's a church uh, it's a ministry so there won't be there will not be any conflicts now that's a wrong assumption like when you presume that when you um, you know have that kind of a thinking where say okay uh, there will not be any conflict now that's that's a wrong assumption right um, that is not true because uh, you we are all unique people we all have different uh, likes and dislikes we all have some strong opinions about certain things or how should how the thing should be done and so on so in a team when you know when we put such people together there is bound to be you know disagreements there are bound to be misunderstandings because you know one is able to communicate well maybe the other person understood it wrong or maybe because of some communication difficulty the other person understood it wrong right so whatever the case you know there there is bound to be you know these kinds of challenges okay so there is bound to be conflict okay so it should not surprise us when there are conflicts between people and is and you thinking oh man you know christian organization why conflict okay well this is a, this is it okay so uh, that's a reality of it so we need to have a strategy in place uh, to resolve conflicts okay conflicts should not be ignored uh, it but rather it should be resolved okay um this relational tensions or relational conflicts uh, interpersonal conflicts as we call it um they should not be neglected or ignored or we can we should not pretend that it's not there you know when when these things happen uh, the best thing to do is to solve it okay and uh, one thing about conflicts is that uh, you know interpersonal conflicts um it tends to grow if there is no intervention there is no intervention to solve it okay if the, if, the, if you don't intervene if you don't do something to change that situation if it to solve or to bring about peace uh, to bring about an agreement right so it tends to grow okay either it can grow to become something uh, very big right the conflict uh, uh, and and as a result of it the work suffers the people don't see eye to eye there's no oneness um so they are not able to cooperate and work you know what we studied in the team right in christian leadership uh, an effective team is a team that's working together right so the team is not able to work because of these tensions of these conflicts right and uh, so the communication becomes communication shuts down okay that's a result of a conflict right where um person says i'm not going to talk to that person it's a that's the simplest thing no i, I don't why because uh, I, i don't like that person why because uh, he or she said this 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 or you know uh, he or she uh, was supposed to do this didn't do this and i'm fed up you know i'm i'm not going to talk you talk so there's a shutdown of communication right so that could be one thing or whenever there's a communication whenever there is you know you have a conversation it becomes an argument it becomes an argument it becomes a shouting match where you know, right and uh, it could happen it could happen either ways right and uh, a lot of unhealthy things happen when there is continued conflict you know uh, there is there could be gossip 
you know, talking behind the person's back. You know, so and so had a fight. You know, this happened, that happened, uh, and then there is unnecessary division. Why? Because people say, okay, uh, but actually he was right, but no, she was right. Okay, so uh, you know what we see in uh, one Corinthians, uh, like the Paul, uh, Paul, people saying, "I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos," you know, something like that. Uh, this person is better, and uh, and so there brings about, uh, you know, it it works against the unity. Right? Uh, it lacks, uh, brings about a lack of unity uh, and brings about division. So, so if there is intervention, if there is a, a resolving of conflict, then you know we we are able to move on, having solved it. There is peace, and then we get to move on. Okay, so um, so let's look at this. You know, the whole thing of uh, interpersonal conflict. It can start as a simple disagreement, but it can escalate or quickly grow into something beyond just a simple disagreement, where personal feelings are involved, and uh, you know where there is uh, division and mis- and and shutdown of communication, and so on. Okay, so there are there could be you know we know that a conflict is a conflict, but then there could be different uh, types of conflicts. Um, it could be a personal or a relational conflict um, that occurs because of uh, because of pride or identity or self worth or self image, right? So maybe um, uh, you know because of uh, a lack of self image or lack of uh, self identity or self uh, worth, um, or even uh, you know maybe there's lack of respect. There's uh, uh, there could be, there could have been a uh, you know, people betraying of confidence, etc. So then it becomes a um, personal or a relational conflict. Okay. Um, the other thing is about you know it could be an instrumental conflict. You know, it could be about the goals. It could be about decisions. It could be about the process. Okay. Where are we heading? You know. Uh, they, so there could be a conflict because of that. Uh, because something is not very clearly defined or something is not, there is no movement to, towards that particular goal uh, or about the process. You know, we talked about, uh, you know, plans and processes and maybe the process is not being followed or processes are not being adhered to, right? And which is affecting the productivity and so on. So it can be a conflict of that nature, okay? Or it could be uh, about a conflict of interest where it's about resources like time, money, uh, people. Uh, it could be you know, uh, related to that, uh, uh, you know, how, to, how spending decisions um, and, and so on. So it could be a conflict of interest. Okay. So whatever it is, you know, a conflict is a conflict, however way you, you know, but we, we can just know these are several reasons for conflicts in a team or in an organization okay so um, so what is the uh, what do we do about it right we need to resolve it okay and uh, and the earlier we identify and the er- earlier we set about uh, solving it it becomes easier okay now what is the reason for that you know uh, well, maybe there is a disagreement. Okay, uh, disagreement about um, let's say about lunch time. You know, uh, okay. Some some people are saying okay, we should have it at one. Some are saying we should have it at twelve because I'm you know I have an early lunch time and then um, and uh, lunch time is always maybe I don't know maybe at two o'clock and, and so people are you know there's a, there's a disagreement and there's a thing. So uh, the the best way to go about it is to find out you know if there is a if there's a conflict like that and uh, and then you know with the management with the the, the leaders and the uh, the organization and people are being quiet about it you know they're mumbling muttering and they're quiet about it um, but they're not happy at all right so uh, first thing is of course to identify okay is there some, is there a problem right is there a problem is there a conflict to identify it okay and uh, and that will happen when we when we talk or uh, to pick up when people are 
talking about something you know when you ask them okay is everything okay um you know is, are there any challenges uh, are you able to do uh, your work well are you able to you know maybe it, it can be a survey it can be a uh, a, a personal one on one um conversation or it could be a you know a meeting with the team and and you talk about this right so then you know these things will come up you know yeah, i'm fine but then you know can we do something about this or like that so uh, so identify the conflict you know, once the kind conflict is identified the the earlier we set about doing it or solving it the better why because then people are not so you know entrenched or in, ingrained in it you know there are um, negative emotions and everything that is attached to it is not so strong right uh, because if if time goes by and nothing is done then people become hardened you know angrier and anger and uh, you know, about their position and about you know what is causing that conflict so so that then it becomes even more difficult to solve it right uh, so so Uh, and also it's it's also true that uh, there there could be gossip there could be people taking sides and uh, and it becomes you know like a big split right so um, the earlier we deal with it the better but the thing is you know dealing with the conflict or, you know some of us are maybe we are okay with it some of us are not right some people find it easier to um, to identify when once this conflict is identified to say okay let me solve it okay uh but some people find it difficult in the sense they they saying okay um oh, i hope uh, i hope this this problem goes away <laughs> right yeah, i hope it when i suppose i wait for some time maybe this problem will solve itself okay um so and then we, we postpone solving it you know we we feel that okay uh, because you know it's unpleasant right we have to face it uh, it is unpleasant where people are saying you know complaining and saying this is happening this is wrong that is wrong it is unpleasant and maybe you know as a person you don't want to face those unpleasant things right and then you see uh, it's okay i'll just avoid it i don't want to talk about it but the longer we don't talk about it the longer we postpone it it becomes difficult to solve it okay so the thing is to um, okay is there a conflict okay let's let's solve it like right? what is the right time to do it what is the right no that we can decide okay maybe uh, maybe we have to consider the right time to address it and the right time to talk to the parties who are having a conflict maybe it's you know one of the parties you and there's another person so when is the right time to do it okay now um, maybe not in the middle of a big project or maybe somebody's you know uh, everybody's busy you know it should be a uh, time and um, mentally as well that people are willing to you know talk about it right um so sometimes you know it's so serious that it needs to be done immediately you know we can't wait for you know people to calm down or it needs to be done immediately because it's 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 so serious right uh, and uh, the effects of the conflict could actually um uh, have a very negative effect on the uh, on the organization or the outcome of the work so it needs to be done immediately right okay so the thing is to uh, uh, start early and resolve the conflict okay okay it's interesting the, you know uh, there could be certain ways to do it okay so or it could be like uh, um you know uh, we are looking at five ways to deal with conflicts and some of these methods are not the ideal way to deal with conflicts okay but we look at them anyway right uh, and the kind of and and we can also look at why it's not the ideal way to solve a conflict okay so because maybe um uh, you know this is what we were used to okay maybe we learned it as a child okay somebody took something from you and then you went you chased that guy you know you caught that person you pulled it out of his hand and you gave one to him and so that he'll never uh, never again repeat that mistake that he'll never again come and you know take thing from your uh, or take it out of your hand again 
right so and maybe that's how we learn and then you know that's there was the in the playground is the best way you know that's those are some early things are put in our hearts right so this is how we learned it therefore you know in life if anything like that happens like in life if somebody says something does something then immediately are the playground is what triggers you know this is how i solved it and this is how it helped and uh, you go ahead and you know start doing it now they, that may not be the ideal way right it will just because something yields results okay may not be the ideal way to solve a conflict okay um so let's look at some methods right right okay so the first one is um to compete or to fight okay um now this depends this strategy or this way of solving a conflict is is you use your strength or one person uses their strength or power or ability against another person it could be a person it could be a group right now what happens in this uh, method like you fight and you you know you you just want to uh, prove yourself wrong and you do what happens in this method is it always creates a winner and a loser okay so you're competing you're fighting and you're proving your point and uh, you're doing it in a, in a in a competing manner what happens is there's always a winner it could be you or maybe the other person has is much stronger um has uh, you know has more clout or influence and whatever uh maybe they win so what happens is there is always a winner and there is always a loser in such a scenario and the problem is the winner is part of the organization the loser is also part of the organization okay the loser is also part of the team so there is a bad nobody likes to lose right uh everybody likes to win so the loser ends up feeling you know bad and uh, and then you realize that that bad feeling can also further fester and grow into maybe some kind of a bitterness uh, uh, etc if that person doesn't deal with it right um or you know if there's no time to do such things right uh then the, they just continue we we continue on we have won the you know we have, we think we have solved it we continue on but this sense uh, you know of this bad feeling or something the sense of loss is there and unless that needs to be addressed as well so so because just because it creates a winner and a loser now it can it can give a temporary fix right it can definitely solve things in a temporary manner um and but then uh you know if we don't see that person again uh, maybe it can be but then this is not what is the ideal thing okay the second one is a collaboration okay first one you compete second one is to you collaborate okay uh, let, let me just put that down uh, it's there in the notes but uh, um i will just put it down okay second one is uh, collaborate okay so what what does collaborate mean collaborate is we work together okay so we're working together and here unlike the first one where it produces a winner and a loser here it produces two winners you know both people who are who are actually having the conflict both uh, end up in a win win situation right so now this would be an ideal uh, method to uh, our, our ideal strategy to resolve a conflict okay so here are two people who are not seeing eye to eye who are disagreeing who are having this uh you know this this fight or interpersonal conflict and we we use this method where we collaborate where we work together in order to solve now that will produce two winners where both people actually come away from that conflict having resolved the conflict feeling okay uh you know i was heard or you know it ended well you know they're going back with that sense nobody's feeling oh, you know uh, uh that you know i'm the winner or i or that person is the loser nobody's feeling that way okay so what would it require it requires time 
Okay. Now this method requires time because now you need to sit down, you need to, you know, talk to each other, you need to be able to discuss, okay, these are the difficulties that we are facing, these are the challenges that we are facing, and uh, and it, it, it also requires a certain sense of maturity, okay, and not giving vent to our emotions and feelings, and not really, you know, uh, yeah, giving it to that person. So it requires us uh, to be a little mature, to uh, to objectively look at the problem, okay, and and rather than you know blame the other person, or rather than put the blame on the other person to see okay now this is a problem that we need to solve. So you reach a solution as that is agreeable, okay. Now now it's like uh, the picture is is like you know you can have a table. And you can have two people at opposite sides of the table, one person on the other side and the other person on this side, and then looking at the problem which is on the table, okay, something that needs to be solved. You know, you're looking, giving your perspective, you're giving your perspective and saying, okay, um, this is your problem or giving blame. But the other way to look at it, collaboration would be that both are sitting on the same side of the table and looking at what is on the table, which is the problem. Okay. So you're not sitting on opposite sides. Okay, the picture is that you're sitting on the same side, which means you have the same objective. What is the objective? I want to solve it. I want to make sure that that it, this ends well. Okay, this is beneficial to both. Okay, so uh, so it it uh, it would involve discussing. It would involve talking about several options, and uh, maybe something may not be agreeable. Okay, so the other person says, okay. Let's let's talk through some more. Let's see if we, so. It, you see that it it requires uh, a certain level of maturity to list out the issues, to take time to talk through, okay, and find a solution. And this is definitely it requires effort, right? It, it requires effort from both the parties, uh, and uh, especially if it is, you know, if it's gone on for some time, and uh, the problem is deeply rooted. Right. Now it's going to take that extra effort, uh, but it will result in uh, it, the result will be good. Okay, now that's a collaboration. Um, the third one is a compromise. Okay, um, or it's a, you know like a, you negotiate something and you compromise something. Now this is definitely better than the first one, which is compete. I compete to win. I'm creating a winner and a loser. Now, this is definitely better where we are. Uh, we arrive at a compromise and we're saying, okay, now uh, it's not win-win because, uh, you know, there is some kind of a sacrifice that's happening here. Okay. One person is saying, okay, I need to give up this in order to reach this. Okay. The other person is also, you know, saying, I need to, you know, you need to give up that. Okay, uh, I'm giving up this, you give up that. Okay, uh, see, I've already done this, so it's only fair that you need to give up certain things. And that person also says, okay, so there's a negotiation. Okay, what are you willing to give up? What are you willing to do extra? By right? both the parties, right? So this person says, okay, okay, I'll do this. And the other person says, okay, I'll do this. Um, this person says, okay, I'm, I'll give up this. Uh, I don't need this. I'll sacrifice this. The other person also says, okay, this I can sacrifice. So there is a compromise. But because of this sacrifice and because of this taking on of certain things, uh, you know, we arrive at a solution. But, you know, uh, the thing is that uh, it's not, you know, you arrive at something, you've solved the issue, but there is this sacrifice involved. Okay, I've lost something. Uh, the other person also has lost something, but it's good, right? It's definitely better than competing, uh, and uh, so that is a compromise reached. Where it it reached, uh, you reach a peaceful solution. Uh, say, okay, let's move on. Let's go beyond this problem. Let's move on, and uh, that works as well. Okay. Um, so the only thing is, sometimes what happens is, when I mean, it's a compromise, um, you know the the commitment to continuing in that 
man okay continuing in that solution continuing in um, that state of uh, being resolved may not be very strong why because the person feels oh i had to do this in order to solve this i, I had to give this up and the person is like recounting the cost and always reminded of that and and so you know so the thing is uh, commitment to continue in that same manner may not be there okay it can be also but may not be there okay um okay so what are the other two uh, ways to you know solve or to approach a conflict um you know the other way is that is to pretend that there is no problem okay so you're talking about everything and uh, accept the issue now this is this is not a method at all this is not a strategy at all but this happens right so this is denial complete denial as you know, denying there is a problem okay so everybody is so avoiding it uh you're not talking about it and uh, you know the, and uh, you're talking not talking about the you know there is a conflict you know there is an issue uh, but nobody is talking about it okay now can this be used um uh, you know this avoiding talking about it avoiding the issue can it be used it can be okay it can be but it has to be in a conjunction or uh, it has to be with another strategy like a compromise or a collaboration okay so maybe things are too you know it, things are going beyond the point it's reached boiling point and it's reached a flash point where you know even mentioning this will result in a you know it's big fight okay so the thing is to kind of separate the parties and say okay we will we, you know cool down for some time we won't address it now okay because um it's it's too people are too involved in it and too emotionally involved in it and uh, definitely it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be uh, fruitful right i'm sure you know uh, going up in uh, like school or colleges you know i'm sure you've seen face situations like that right people are swinging at each other and then they are just you know being separated and say you know you cool down you calm down and then you you know you're able to at least talk about it okay so it it can help it can be a, a helpful strategy but it needs to be uh, you need to understand that that will not solve it completely for that moment it will help okay for that moment it will help and it can be a precursor or it can be something that uh, like a starter but you need to go on to actually solving it we can either use a, a collaborative method or a compromise method and uh, you know um, there is a, it would help to have someone facilitate this um, resolution conflict resolution um so um so unless we uh, we move on from this uh, method and uh, use this method but then you move on to you know employ any other method of um uh, resolving uh, what would happen is that everybody is keeping it stuffed you know uh, just maybe avoiding maybe denying that there's a problem and even you know they they're not uh, they're not coming out with it so it it actually becomes detrimental like to the organization it actually becomes a, becomes a bigger problem right so we need to a denial okay for that particular thing it's okay you avoid raising the issue we avoid solving the issue but it needs to uh, always you need to understand that it's it's for a short time and maybe uh, for that particular instant but something else has to follow okay um then the other one is uh, you know it's like uh, smoothing over a problem so what does that mean so that means that uh, uh on the top of it you know superficially there is uh, harmony and peace and everybody is fine um uh, and but but on the other hand uh, you know deep within there is still conflict that is bubbling 
okay there is still conflict that is that is there uh, and waiting to just come up and throw its head right so um so so what is happening is your all the effort is um, just you know you you're just putting in the effort in order to maintain that relationship or pers- pers- um, uh, preserve that relationship you know just uh, being polite and and so on whereas uh, you know dealing with the conflict okay so so it is it is uh, again similar to the previous one uh, you, we are avoiding the solving of it and it is okay for a uh, for a short term it is if it, it's okay uh, for that particular time or instant but um uh, but it needs to be addressed okay it needs to be addressed it needs to be uh, because it becomes a deeper thing it becomes a something which is um, uh, which is far more serious right so it needs to be uh, something that needs to be addressed okay so um you know if you look at page 37 there is um, you know maybe i'll just uh, i'll just project it just one second. Um, sorry. There is a yeah. This interesting uh, illa, you know illustration. I hope you can see it. Um, let me see. Okay, there it is. Okay. So you see, you know, uh, there's a on on the graph. You see on the, you know, on this um, there's the y-axis. You see, concern for self, and here concern for others. If concern for others is low, and concern for self is also low, then there is a, you know, there is a denial. Okay. If concern for others is more, and but uh, concern for self is low, you know, then there is smoothing over. Okay, you don't want uh, to rock the boat. You just want things to continue. You don't want that relationship to, you know, suffer. But you, whereas it's not, you know, you are you are still, you are still suffering. But uh, you don't want to address it. You don't want the relationship to suffer. And so, you know, it's just going on. But the problem is existing. Okay. Uh, now these are temporary f- things, right? Um, the con uh, when we, when it's a compromise, you know, it is uh, it's like a middle of uh, middle of the line, right? So uh, concern for self, concern for others is also there, but there is a sacrifice, there is a giving away uh, by both parties, so there is a compromise. Um, if concern for others uh, is low and concern for yourself is high, then it's a very selfish uh, strategy where you compete and fight and you don't care what happens to the other person, right? So that is there in the top left. Whereas if concern for self and for others is high, then there is a collaboration that happens. Okay. So um, so we see this. Uh, okay. So what skills do I need? Okay, let me just put that also. What skills do I uh, need in order to uh, resolve a conflict? Okay. Okay. So the first one is that... Um, uh, even before we think about, uh, you know, assertiveness, um, the first one is uh, definitely, uh, I'll just stop. Uh, first one is now definitely an awareness, right? A self-awareness uh, and awareness of others. And what we would, uh, we would look at, um, you know, uh, something called emotional quotient, Right. We would look at it in, in the following chapters. We'll address that. Um, so there is an awareness, awareness as an empathy. Okay. So um, emotional awareness. Are you aware of what is going on in the inside of you emotionally, and uh, and you have a sense of understanding of what could be what could be the other person going through, right? And uh, uh, and that's something which is very very important. Uh, to be able to identify, to be able to, uh, you know, say that, okay, I'm aware that I'm, you know, I'm getting uh, tensed up or I'm aware that I'm feeling, uh, feeling low because of this. Okay. Because if that awareness is not there, then uh, we will not even identify that there is a problem or there is a conflict. 
right we'll just feel that okay i'm just feeling bad i'm just feeling terrible and uh, i'm you know and we just go with it okay maybe today i'm feeling this way and we go with it but we need to be able to identify you know be uh, uh, be self aware and also have the emotional awareness emotional quotient um to be able to uh uh be aware to be to be able to empathize and also to uh sense okay what could be um the other person going through emotionally right to be sensitive to that um okay uh, and secondly you know being assertive okay but without being aggressive okay that's the other thing you know to be able to you know in solving the conflict definitely one needs to communicate right you need to be able to talk and you need to be able to express your views you need to be able to say that you are hurt by the other person's action but you know to be able to say it assertively but without being aggressive okay um and and sometimes what and it's a skill again right what happens is when we when we think about that person and what they have done and immediately you know our voice uh, increases you know the volume the pitch and everything increases right it goes to a level we are not able to think clearly we are not even able to speak sometimes right i'm sure uh, i don't know if you have their experience uh, yeah or maybe maybe you notice someone have they are they are so upset uh, where they are not able to even you know every time they talk about that they are so upset that they are they are either screaming or shouting or they are so angry uh, they are not able to you know assert so what happens then is that they will blame rather than objectively share what has happened okay say this is your fault this is what you have done this is what you should do now that will not solve right that will not solve the issue this is what you should do this is not what you have done this is what you have done you know i'm feeling so bad you made me feel this and well all that is true right and and it's because of that you know maybe you're hurt and you're going through but then that will not help solve the problem solve the conflict right so uh, to be able to communicate to be able to share assertively uh, but in a non aggressive manner okay to to be able to express our feelings and 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 also to to talk about okay this is what would help this is what we can do uh, this is what um that can that should be avoided okay so um to be able to uh to be able to do that um, like uh, to be able to express the situation and express our feelings and specify what we um want done okay so let's look at that you know the three things describe the situation right let me just put that down it's, it's there in the notes but i'm just going to put it in the chat as well um describe so that's about the situation uh so it could be circumstance it could be about what went wrong okay so that you're describing okay this is what this is what actually happened you know this triggered this this person said this and this is what happened this is the problem we have now okay um the second one is to express when we say express we are expressing our feelings right um you know i felt this i felt bad or i felt um rejected or i felt uh, you know i was i felt i was i was very disappointed right um and i felt a lot of hurt and pain when this happened or i you know i i felt very very angry right so you're expressing your feelings because of the situation and right? you describe the situation and you can express your feeling and uh, you're going to look at you know how to express that without without blaming right blaming the person and not getting personal right and third one is to specify okay uh, so we're saying clearly okay this needs to be done okay? uh, as per my understanding this needs to be done so you describe you express 
Um, describe the situation, express the feelings, and specify the tasks that need to be done in order to resolve it. Okay, so and the other person will also also be able to do that as well. Okay, um, so when we describe the situation, you know, how do we communicate that situation? Okay, how do we communicate the problem? Um, so the most effective uh, way, you know and we've seen this earlier, is to use those I statements. You know, when you said this, 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 it made me feel this, this, this. Okay, if it's if it's something about people, you know, raising their voice and maybe there's this, um, they've had it, you know, uh, they've been saying a lot of things to each other and, and there's been a lot of, uh, you know, uh, hurt because of that. So in order to say that, you know, you need to describe it, right? You need to describe the situation. So how do you do that? You know, you shouted at me. You, 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 you know, you, you, this thing, and you're always like this. You're always angry. So instead of doing that, to communicate the same thing, okay, to communicate the truth, but it this would help, right? Like I felt bad when you said this, like when you said this, when you did this, uh, when you took this decision without consulting, uh, you know, the team or whatever, you know, when you. Uh, you know this process uh, when you actually disregard this this process and it did, uh, we've I felt this so um, it's it's definitely uh, better than saying you know you you never obey the rules right that's that, that now that's a very personal remark and uh, you know you're always like this you're always late you're always uh, you know uh, shabby your work is always shabby um, instead of doing that, you know, to uh, that is the truth, but you're conveying the truth without attacking the person, right? Um, so, so that would help. That would help. Uh, you know, communicate it, and you also specify uh, what needs to be done. Okay, where? Uh, uh, okay, what is the solution? Okay, what is the solution? Uh, how do we go about solving this? And so that, uh, you know, after you express this, um, you realize that you're not emotionally stirred up, okay? Um, as emotionally stirred up as you were, you would have been if you actually shouted at that person and said, you know, you're always like this, okay? When you use these I statements, you know, when you said this, I felt this, I felt this. You're saying you're you're actually what are you doing there? You're disconnecting. You know you're separating. Okay, I as a person I felt this emotion. You know, I as a person I felt this emotion. I as a person person felt um, this. Uh, I know, this was what going on in my mind uh, when I when I as a person I felt this. So when we disconnect that in our words when we express it, then we don't feel that as much. And at the same time, we have also expressed our feelings, right? And and the third thing would be to you know specify, okay, um, this would help. Uh, this would uh, this is what needs to be done. This is what needs to be rectified, okay? uh, solved. Okay. Um, so if we don't feel confident, okay, uh, then we can always have a mediator for resolving the conflict okay so uh, maybe someone uh, who can be who can give an unbiased judgment okay unbiased meaning who, who will not uh, for you know for who will not have favorites personal favorites right so that person can actually help intervene someone who is maybe higher up in the organization someone who's a peer but who's who's mature enough to you know bring in that uh, uh, so bring in, uh, solve that issue, uh, and to, to give it perspective and say, you know, I, I feel, I sense that, you know, this will help us. Uh, so rather than, you know, um, lean on one particular side, that person is able to give an objective uh, solution. Okay, so that will help uh, solve the issue. Of course, you know, this is a very simple way uh, of looking at it. Of course, as believers, you know, even before we go to the person, uh, we can pray through the whole situation, right? We pray through the whole situation and say, pray for the person, right? And then, you know, that helps us cool down. And right? if you're feeling very, very, you know, uh, angry or very upset, you know, 
pray about the situation and pray for the person but don't stop there right many times as believers we do that you know i pray god you know you do it uh, whatever it is you do it and then uh, we stop there you know, stop with the praying but we need to move to um, you know a peaceful confrontation in order to solve the conflict right a peaceful confrontation or a christ like confrontation um, to solve the conflict that needs to be done right so this is something that um, i hope this was helpful this is something that we we all need to grow into that we all need to employ um, every day you know uh, maybe in some situations in some places that we need to have this as uh, as a skill as a necessary skill okay okay so we'll stop here and have a, a good week we'll meet again uh, we're meeting again tomorrow for our corinthians class but yeah life skills we'll meet again next week okay we'll stop here thank you god bless Thank you. Right. See you. Thank bye you, bye. sir. Thank you, sir. Right. See you. Bye-bye.